Welcome to Basic Sciences. Today's topic is the free body diagram for the hip. This is a method of determining the forces and moments acting on the body by isolating the body part and ensuring that it is in static equilibrium. We make certain assumptions when we draw a free body diagram. Bones are rigid rods, joints are rigid frictionless hinges, no antagonistic muscle action, weight of body is concentrated at the exact center of body mass. Internal forces cancel each other out. Muscles only act in tension, the line of action of a muscle is along the center of cross-sectional area of muscle mass, joint reaction forces are assumed to be only compressive. In single leg stance, one leg is assumed to weigh one sixth of the body weight and the other five sixth is through the center of mass. The moment arm is the perpendicular distance T from the hips center of rotation to the force through the center of mass. The clockwise moment is D times five sixth body weight. The force of the abductors is marked F, A, B and the perpendicular distance to the hips center of rotation is little d. The anti-clockwise moment is D times F, A, B. Therefore in a state of equilibrium the anti-clockwise moment is equal to the clockwise moment, hence, F, A, B times little d equals capital D times 5 sixths body weight. If we assume a body weight of 60 kilograms, a distance capital D of 15 centimeters, and a distance little d of 5 centimeters, then, F. A. B times 5 equals 15 times 500 newtons. Hence F. A. B equals 15 times 500 over 5 therefore F. A. B equals 1500 newtons. 